See, truck driver's not seen me. He's not looking in his left mirror at all. He's smoking away. I can see him in his mirror. So I can't really risk him just veering off course ever so slightly. So I'm just going to sit it out for a minute until he comes to a stop. And now he's stopping. Now I can go. It was just a case of balancing that. You've got to look in the mirrors. And he was smoking away. No idea I was on his down the inside. So it was similar situation here it's just a bit tight not crazy but all about just picking the right moments to make your progress and as we get through here we'll do the same and it, even if it's a car I mean that was a truck so it's far more dangerous sorry a big lorry a big lorry or a wagon whatever you want to call it Busy, busy, busy. It's not usually like this, by the way. So at the moment, I'm just all clutch, second gear, bimbling through, half clutch, just making sure. Nothing wrong at this point in flicking your high beam on either, because it's all about. You can see why we're doing it now. There's been a bump, obviously because the cops have just got up the slip road on the left hand side ah, I can see where it's happened there's a load of cars parked up on the verge in the middle of the road so what we're going to do here now is just poke our noses into here just a rear ender, nothing of a bump and he's just blocking the road for no reason whatsoever how's that not drivable? unbelievable, there's nothing wrong with that car that couldn't make it drive up they just park up and block the, block the whole road for no reason That'll be clear again in five minutes, just because they're ignorant. There's no reason to block the road there at all. Biggest four before, did you notice? And they weren't prepared to drive it up onto the verge when the car's in front. Normal cars, pretty much. Got out of the way. Couldn't make it up. Some ignorant, arrogant pillocks. Anyhow. There you go.